Okay, so it's the uh, next day um, after gluing the uh, snakeskin on the bow, and now what we're going to do is um, uh, trim off the edges uh, of the skin so that it uh, it'll clean it up a little bit. And basically, what I do with that, I just take some uh, 60 grit uh, sandpaper. Or you could use a file, you know, or anything, but I'm using sandpaper right now because I really don't want to dig into uh, into the sides of the wood or have to sand any of the wood after you were done. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rub the uh, sandpaper along the edges of the bow until the skin comes loose from it. You know, I'll stop sanding when I start to see wood here. And um, what will happen is... Uh, It'll give you a nice clean line and then uh, you'll be able to just peel off the side. So I'm going to get this uh, first limb done here and I'll show you how it works and then we'll uh, do the second limb. Okay, so um, we did the first limb and you can see that the uh, uh, we, we've uh, removed the uh, excess skin off the uh, limb of the bow and it's pretty, uh, pretty clean here. And now we're going to do the other side and basically what you do is uh, you get some sandpaper on a sanding block and uh, you just push down on the edges and uh, it'll uh, you know cut through the skin. Snake skin's uh, a lot thinner than regular uh, skins and um, uh, it cuts through this stuff uh, fairly quickly and fairly easily. You don't want to go up against the uh, the uh, skin because you don't want to lift it up so you want to push down away from the skin so that it doesn't uh, inadvertently lift it up off the bow. You can see that the skins come apart and it just peels right off. Nice clean surface. I still have this uh, masking tape here on the sides of the bow. You can peel that off. Um, and it'll take up all this extra glue that came over the edges. So, um, just like that. Nice and clean. Okay, so we're going to do the other end and um, we'll show you how it looks. Okay, so here we go. Um, I went and took off the uh, all of the excess skin off the uh, uh, snake skin backing, and um, that's pretty much how it looks. Um, came out pretty good. Uh, you know, you can obviously still see the hole that we have right here, but it's pretty much sealed up. Uh, there's another hole around here somewhere too. Um, I don't quite know where it went, but there is another hole around here, and um, it kind of sealed up too. Um, some people go through the process of removing the scales off of the uh, off of the skin, um, and I don't usually do that. Uh, I usually just, you know, the scales just come off on their own, um, you know, as time goes on, but. Um, uh, uh, that's the way the bow looks uh, right now with the uh, snake skin backing applied. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, uh, paint the tips. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do or how I'm going to paint them yet. I'll put some geometrical uh, design on there. And, um, and then I'm going to uh, wrap the uh, the handle. In fact, I might even wrap the handle first. Um, but before I do any of that, I'm going to give one last uh, sanding uh, to the exposed wooden areas and I'm going to uh, uh, stain um, stain the, the, the wood and seal it uh, before I do anything else. Okay, so uh, we'll turn the video back on when we're ready to uh, stain uh, the back of the bow or the belly of the bow.